Okay, the Sesame Lock is basically designed the same as the Master 175 combination lock. To get an idea of what it looks like, do a search in YouTube for my decoding the Master 170 lock to get an inside look at what it would look like. However, on the flat side of the can that you'll be looking for when properly orientated will be at the top of the lock and not the bottom as it would be in the Master 175. Okay, to decode this lock, you will need the following items. You'll need a section out of a soda pop can, a pair of scissors, and an exacto or hobby knife with the removable tips on it. It's very useful for our tool here. And a small bench vise would be really helpful, but that part of it is optional. Okay, to start with, a decoding tool is going to have to be made. So what we're going to do is cut a strip off the can that is about an inch and a half long and as wide as the lock body that I'll show you here in just a minute. It's got to be pretty narrow. It's almost a little too wide there on the end, so let's trim it up a little bit. That's pretty close to it. Alright, now you're going to want about an inch of it, so take some of it and trim it off down. And you're going to fold it over. about like so, crimp the ends down flat and take your X-Acto knife and slip this in. I came up with this when I was trying to make this little strip and trying to hold on to it and keep from bending it and that's when I suddenly saw my X-Acto knife sitting there. Okay, let's tighten that up. I thought, well, that'll be a great handle. It gave me some ideas for other project that I'll be doing a video for later on. Now, after we get our tool made, we need to bend the tip of it just a little bit, the very tip of it. There we go. It needs that little bit of a curve to it in order to get past the cams inside the lock. Alright, now what we need to do is set all our wheels to zero first. Unlike the master where we decode each individual one on the sesame, we'll only be able to decode the first one and the second one. Or the third one. The second and the fourth wheel can be decoded, but by the time you get down in there to do it, it's a lot easier just to go through it, the sequence of the numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this feeler and work it down in between at the far edge over here and try to get it in there and it's not really going to go too well. So rotate your wheel a little until it starts to go down in there and you meet some resistance. You can t see how this is bowing. And that's almost too much pressure. It doesn't take much. So bring it around another half turn. All right, there. You see how it just slipped in there? So you're going to turn it back one. That's your first number. Now we're going to go to the third wheel. We're going to do the same thing. It just doesn't want to go in. Oh, come on. There we go. We're at one. Let's see how it, there we go. Alright. Those are your first and third numbers of your combination. Now it's trial and error. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Alright, so we got one zero three zero. Nothing yet. Light. 
So we're going to do a one. Nothing. Two. You just keep going through the numbers. And when you hit zero again, come over here to the second wheel. Make that one so you actually have a 10 there. It'd be 1130. 1131. And you keep doing that. Now, I already, we're not going to go through all of them. But I'm just going to say. And we'll pretend that we've gone through the first 40. And you heard that click there. See, nothing there. But listen real closely to that click. And there you go. The first click and then the click you just heard. Click. There it is. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed it and I hope that helps you all out some. If y'all have any problems, as always, feel free to send me an email and I'll try to help you out. This isn't real easy to feel the first time. It took me about a week to feel for them slots. I'm just showing you the quick version because we don't, you don't want to spend all day watching this. Thanks for watching and post your comments. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.